इंग्लिश में पूछो हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम पाकिस्तान वेलकम टू अंकल स्टॉक शो टुडे वी हैव अनदर टॉपिक एंड वी आर स्पीकिंग इंग्लिश जस्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ पाकिस्तानी ऑडियंस एंड द इंटरनेशनल ऑडियंस एज़ वेल एंड माय क्वेश्चन इज अंकल एज यू नो द पाकिस्तान हैज़ बीन लैकिंग लीडरशिप फॉर सिंस लॉन्ग राइट सो कुड कुड यू प्लीज टेल मी who is the game changer right now in a next uh, in a current year or maybe the next year who would be the leader right now what do you see that please then okay tahir you are referring the current situation of pakistan yes well let's say hello to the countrymen to everybody i'm your well wisher i'm your uncle I would like to clarify my opinion on this particular uh, topic what I have brought uh, this evening There is no leadership in Pakistan That is the most unfortunate part of this country because leaders are formed by very very special teachers and the mentors we don't have good teachers and we do not have good mentors so we are lacking in this department to have some leadership which could be effective to lead a country like pakistan which is in complete turmoil and a collapse leading towards a default so this is the current situation in my opinion now what pakistan is demanding and what the public of pakistan is demanding is a revolution in this country of course peaceful not slaughtering people we can be that stupid Huh? We have some educated people, some very wise people in this country. Every country has some very generous people in knowledge, wisdom, and so many other things. But they are not given the chance to lead this country because so much corruption. because of so much malpractice because of so much agencies working against pakistan behind the curtain that is not just right do not fear the word revolution a revolution could be as peaceful as teaching a class in a school because you have to know the meaning of revolution revolution means change you revolve things and that is called revolution it doesn't have to hit a bullet in the heart of somebody to make him change because he is already dead you want people alive and a change at the same time what china has done for his people what korea has done for his people they did not slaughter people to bring the revolution in their country they brought the economic revolution the cultural revolution they developed the spirit of those nations look at how successful is china look at how successful japan these are revolution i'm talking about the industrial level revolution the economic revolution the revolution in culture updating your culture with the world make yourself global i am surprised to know so many people in pakistan have studied abroad and have the opportunity to study in the universities like harvard and oxford and cambridge and whatever you have taken the degree for or you learned it you do not apply it to your own country why is that sir 
May I ask you this question? Why is that so? You don't apply that knowledge for your own people. You believe your people are so ignorant, they will never understand your message. So, you decided to misguide them, to mislead them, to maintain your supremacy and your corruption. A corrupt mind can be as dangerous as parasites for a country. So you leaders, listen to me properly. Watch this video. Don't be a part of the system which is corrupt, which can be called the best possible word I have selected, the parasites. Parasites just make themselves stronger and kill everything else. That's what you leaders have done occasionally and repeatedly in this country for the life of 75 years of Pakistan. Does your mother deserve this rape, what you have done to this country? You call yourself a leader. You should be ashamed to call yourself a leader. What have you done with your mother. Why your people are with so much unrest? Why they are not happy with you? And who you are taking for fool? These innocent, ignorant, weak, poor peasants and weak workers, mazdoor, laborer, to all these people you want to lead. You want to misguide them, to maintain your supremacy. Shame on you. You are listening, leaders? Shame on you. It includes everybody. So do Imran Khan. No leadership in this country. You hear your leaders. Call yourself a leader. Be ashamed of yourself. to be entitled for this particular seat or this particular word called leader. Leaders are like Mao Zedong. Leaders are like Abraham Lincoln. Leaders are like Sukarno. Leaders are like Atatürk. Going back in the history of Islam, leaders like Huzura Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam, Hazrat Umar Farooq, Hazrat Ali, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, Hazrat Usman, Sahaba Rasul, Salahuddin Ayyubi, Khalid bin Wali. These are the leaders. I have given some examples of uh, leaders in Christianity. Jesus Christ. What do you think about Jesus Christ? A great leader. Understand? So follow Moses. David, Shoaib, Ilyas, Khizr, these are the leaders. Don't you want to learn anything? Huh? You want to be just a lousy, greedy, third grade citizen of this world? Make Pakistan global. We have not lost hope in Pakistan, neither in our people. Not this condemned leadership. I haven't lost my faith in this condemned leadership either. Not in even, even in Imran Khan. Change. Change the attitude. Start the revolution from your own bin, from your own shack, from your own house, from your own habits. Enough. Enough of this message. I hope you are a Pakistani and can take this message from a public like myself, who is a public servant, I would love to see any one of our leaders, current leaders, so-called leaders, change. You have nothing wrong with you, change. And qualify the word leader. We will be your followers, no problem. 
थैंक यू पाकिस्तान पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद